Hi, my name is Danny Mitchell from uh, ABT Gym in Yorkshire. This is going to be an instruction on the Umma Platter from uh, MMA Guard for the Warrior Collective. So this is my assistant, faithful assistant Adam. He's going to help me out. So we're going to go start off in the closed guard like this. I want to get to the MMA guard position. So he's going to posture up and throw a big right hand. I'm going to block, curl my knees to my chest and get that over hook and hold his head. This is what I call MMA guard. I always want to try and tie one of his arms up and keep his arm on the mat. Save me getting punched. Okay, so that's the first part of the move. Again, he throws a shot, knees to chest, wrap the arm and hold the head. Okay, once I've got that, now I can start setting up the umma platter. Now the umma platter is a submission, but I use it a lot in MMA. I've used it in a lot of my fights just to sweep the guy or to get a dominant position. So I, I class the umma platter as just a, a transition method. Yeah. So what, if I can hit the umma platter position, I can do lots of different things to him. I can take his back, I can sweep him, I can finish him as well, but that's a lower percentage. It's more about and get in a dominant position. And it's real, real easy to get in MMA because the guy is always over commit with the punches and it's easy to trap his arm to the mat. Um, so I'm gonna show you a real easy way where you don't need flexibility to do it, okay? So we get to the MMA guard like this. So a lot of times um, when you're looking for the more platter, people are pulling the leg and using the flexibility. Now, the older I get and the more fights I have, the more my knees get ruined and the less I can start pulling on my leg. So a real easy way to do it, which I call the easy platter, is I'm just going to move my hips and make it real easy. So just turn on this angle. So we're here, I'm going to plant my foot and I'm going to scoop my hip out. So I'm on my side. Now, rather than trying to bend my leg like this, I just throw a round kick over his head. Okay, and I can get this other platter position. So the traditional other platter, I'd be triangling my legs and if he had a gear on, I'd be controlling his sleeve and his back, okay? But what I want to do, especially no gear when it's real slippy, I, I can't afford to have any space here. So as, as soon as I get this position, I'm going to cross my feet and start squeezing my legs and try and spike his shoulder to the mat. That's really important. Once I've got his shoulder on the mat, then, then the position's pretty much done, okay? I've got a few options from here now. So we can take the finish by leaning over, Okay, getting the under hook, locking my fingers. I take my legs into an S position, and I'm just pushing my hip forward, making his shoulder, making sure his shoulders on the mat, and he'll tap pretty quick. But uh, most of the time, what'll happen is as I spike my legs, the guy will roll on his shoulder. Okay, and then I'll just take that top position. So don't think of it as a submission; think of it more as a as a sweep. Okay, just up this side. So again. We're here, the guy throws a shot, I'm going to cover, wrap and get that MMA guard position. Rather than pulling on my leg like this, which is good, it works if, you, if you're flexible. I'm pretty flexible in my left leg, not so much on my right. So I can do this, I do this a lot in fights. But if you real struggle with flexible uh, flexibility, just hip out, round kick over his head. And you're already in position. I start spiking my legs like this, takes away all that space. He's got a lot of pressure now on his shoulder. So he's going to roll. I'll let him roll. And then I'm going to try and get on top. Okay. So one more time. Right over here. So one more time. He throws a shot, a cover, MMA guard, controlling him. Hip out. I can stuff his head, use my hand if I need to. Kick over. Start stretching my legs to the mat. As he rolls, keep sat on his shoulder and I take top position and use it to sweep the guy. Real easy to do in MMA, so uh, thanks for watching this tutorial on the Umar Platter for MMA. Uh, for more information on my gym, check out abt.co.uk and for more information on the Warrior Collective, check out warriorcollective.com. Thanks a lot.